Throughout the years, My 600 Pound Life has developed a sizable fan base who enjoy watching the guests lose weight and achieve their ideal weight. Despite the fact that the show has been a source of entertainment and lightheartedness, some of its people haven't had the best luck with weight loss, which has led to complications and even death. And that is exactly how Kelly Mason's tragic story goes. So in today's video, we'll show you what led Kelly to her death. Tragic Backstory Sometimes I dread waking up because my life is a nightmare. Kelly Mason was featured in the seventh season of My 600 Pound Life. The North Carolina native weighed over 700 pounds and had a slew of medical issues, including high blood pressure, diabetes, blood clots, arthritis, and even congestive heart failure. She was on the verge of immobility. Kelly was well aware that she had a problem and that her food addiction was hurting her life, but she also admitted that she couldn't help herself. Viewers cheered Mason on as she entered the doctor's hospital to change the course of her life for good. She revealed during her participation on the show that she grew up with her grandparents because her mother traveled a lot and didn't want to look after her. Mason's grandfather unfortunately died in front of her and her grandma was placed in a retirement home. Kelly was forced to live with her mother who still did not take adequate care of her. Her grandmother had to eventually come back in her life. Mason's mother never cooked, thus fast food was her only option for meals. Before she was a teenager, she weighed 200 pounds. There was yet another problem the poor child had to deal with. She was sexually abused by an old neighbor who had groomed her between the ages of 9 and 11. When she told her mother about it, she didn't even bother to console her and asked her to let go of it. Mason was distressed as a result of this lack of support. Only solace food. My life has been unbearable and it just seems like it's getting worse. She had no choice but to rely on food to cope with her stress once more. She weighed around 500 pounds by the time she started college. She also told the audience how confined she felt in her body, as it was even preventing her from graduating from college. She became pregnant in her first year, but the baby died at the age of seven months. She had believed that having a kid would bring her happiness, since she would have someone who would love her no matter what. Instead, she was pushed into a deep depression, with no solace to pull her out. Even Dr. Now appeared emotionally moved by the tragedy of the situation, and despite the bleak prospect, he pushed her to reach the point where weight loss surgery would be a viable option, and he got more concerned when her test results came in as they showed that her heart was giving up on her with every passing minute. Mason flew to St. Joseph's Medical Center in Houston with the help of her best friend, Leanne, to follow the strict diet prescribed by Dr. Now. But even to get her out of the ambulance was a tough task, as apart from being unable to move, she had trouble breathing too. Mason's first run at weight loss. That's great. In a couple of days, you're gonna be on the 600. Fans cheered Mason on as she lost the first 100 pounds after being admitted to the hospital by Dr. Now, who believed that keeping an eye on her cardiac problems and losing weight quickly was the best approach to help her survive. Mason came on her diet and she lost 220 pounds on her own and received approval for weight loss surgery. She remained committed to her weight loss mission even after surgery, losing an additional 100 pounds to reach 383 pounds. Mason at rehab. Yeah. Oh, nice. I like it. However, things went downhill after that, as when she was placed in a rehab clinic, she went back to her old behaviors. Her old food demons kicked back in. She hated the physical activity, and she placed the order for takeout again and again, ruining all the hard work she had put in to lose weight. When the doctor realized she wasn't making any progress, he insisted on upping her exercise schedule, which made Mason irritable. But Dr. Now made clear to her that she cannot fool around with her diet, as she was clearly running out of time. Her father dropped by once a week to take out her garbage and bring her a pizza, which broke our hearts because she had absolutely no support system. Even her uncle decided that he won't take her in to live with him, which means she had to stay in rehab even longer unless he changed his mind heart failure. I just received a call from medical examiner to inform me that late last night, it appears Kelly's heart gave out. Kelly's weight loss was on track at her previous meeting with Dr. Now a few weeks ago. So this was the result of not following Dr. Now's advice. 
Despite the fact that she was working hard and doing everything she required, the damage to her heart was simply too severe. Even though Doctor Now did his best to help her, Mason's heart failed in the 10th month of her episode, and she died in her sleep on February 15th, 2019. Even Doctor Now was saddened by her death, saying, as he said, that he was extremely hopeful they would be able to get her out of morbidity, and the news was heartbreaking. Kelly Mason is the second participant on My 600 Pound Life to pass away while the show was being filmed. Robert Butchell also died while the show was still being produced. Some fans had already learned of her death by the time the episode aired, even publishing an online obituary. Since we're talking about people who died from 600 pound life, we thought you might be interested in hearing about some more patients. So here are some of them. Gina Crazley. I wake up every day to the same miserable experience. Gina Crazley was 28 and weighed 607 pounds when we first met her in 2020. Her wife, sister, mother, Dog and sister's fiance all lived in New Jersey at the time. She admitted to being guilty about the stress her weight placed on her wife Beth and their marriage when she went on the show. She and her sister were forced to live with their abusive father even after their parents divorced. Thus, she didn't have the finest childhood. She turned to eating as a coping technique for the abuse, depression, and anxiety she was experiencing. She weighed 450 pounds by the time she graduated high school and 500 pounds by the time she was 19. She struggled to lose the required 50 pounds before surgery. The doctor gave her multiple chances to lose weight on her own and approved the surgery, but canceled it at the last moment as she had gained 13 pounds instead of losing it. Crazley died at the age of 30 on August 1st, 2021. The hospital did not provide an official cause of death report, but her memorial noted that she died surrounded by her adoring family. Sean Milliken. He may be approaching 1,000 pounds. Sean weighed over 900 pounds when he appeared in the fourth season of the show. He's still the heaviest patient to have ever graced the screen. He began overeating as a child as a result of his father's verbal abuse and hostility. Sean's mother also stated that because she was overweight herself, she was the one who supported his obsessive eating. Later on, whenever they went grocery shopping, she would buy him food to eat. Sean was tormented by his parents' tension, and the final blow came when they separated when he was only 10 years old. The whole affair damaged him mentally, and he began blaming himself for everything that had happened between them. By the time Sean was in high school, he had gained 400 pounds. During his senior year, he also slipped and fractured his ankle, keeping him immobile for years. He lost approximately 550 pounds in a year, but sadly, his story has a sad finish because he died in 2019. I have worked pretty hard for this moment. This is good. You under 600 pounds. James L.B. Bonner. Right now, the prosthetic leg I use is barely able to hold my weight. Bonner tripped the scales at 892 pounds. He also had a huge lymphedema of 100 pounds on his leg. Dr. Now decided to keep him at the medical clinic for a month under his supervision before sending him to the rehabilitation center to assist him to lose weight. During his stay at Dr. Now's medical center, he lost over 100 pounds, but he reverted to his old habits and opted to order takeout. He only lost 10 pounds at the recovery center over the next two months. When James was confronted about it, he absolutely ignored him. He also informed Dr. Now that he had not gained any more weight, despite the fact that at that point in the treatment, he should have shed 100 pounds every month. However, LB was able to reduce more than half of his starting body weight of 650 pounds as a result of all of this to and fro. LB, however, struggled with despair and died of suicide at the age of 30 on the evening of August 2nd. I know he's always hoped and dreamed that I'd take over the family business someday. Robert Butchell. We came in and the doctor pronounced he was dead. When first appeared on season six of the show, Robert Butchell weighed approximately 840 pounds. His obesity wasn't the only factor affecting his health. He also had a painkiller addiction that was wreaking havoc on his body. After a difficult start, Robert was eventually able to overcome his terrible eating habits thanks to the love and support of his mother and fiance, Catherine. 
He lost over 350 pounds as a result of his hard work, which included the surgical removal of a lymphedema mass from his leg. Despite his hope, the reduction of the mass left Robert dissatisfied, and his drug addiction returned as a result. In order to obtain a prescription for extra pain medication, he tore his stitches open. Robert's dangerous drug addiction made life so difficult for him that he died from a heart attack before the show aired in November 2017. Doctor now praised Robert for being a warrior after he died. However, he expressed his dissatisfaction with the medical system's role in Robert's addiction. Robert had uh, struggled with his weight and his body gave up, but he never did give up. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.